Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, July 5th. My voice just cracked. It is Monday, July 5th, exactly 11 o'clock in the morning. Dude, I'm so fucking mad because I told myself today I wanted to be like more productive. I guess like have more time to do more things. And I set an alarm for 9 in the morning. And tell me why I woke up and like I turned, like I for sure woke up fast as fuck to turn that shit off. But then I went back to bed. Things didn't go the way I planned. Also, I look super fucking musty and crusty and my eyebrows out of place. Because when I say I just woke up, I woke up like five minutes prior to this. Look at my breast things. You know what I don't get? I brush my teeth at night. So like why the fuck do I wake up with stank ass breath? Like that shit just never sits right with me. Also, Dylan, if you're watching this, I just want to say that I love you very much and thank you for always telling me good morning. Because I'll be so sad. This is embarrassing. Okay, so basically today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me throughout my day from start to finish. Hopefully, because sometimes I'd be kind of like deciding to end the video mid midday. I do have some things I need to do today. I need to clean my apartment because it's dirty as fuck. Because 4th of July was yesterday, so like it's kind of fucking dirty because people came over. I need a shower, I think. Actually, do I? I feel like my hair's not. Did I shower yesterday? And then I wanted to go grocery shopping. Not like full on grocery shopping, but like I need to get a few things. I think that's it, really. Um, obviously if something else happens you guys will see that but I think that's just kind of like the programming I have for today So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. You guys are gonna see these next clips of me just cleaning and shit It's nothing special, but it has to be done. Y'all I'm so like confused right now because I don't know if I want to shower and then like clean and shit or if I want to clean and then shower, it's because I feel like if I just like obviously I'm gonna go brush my teeth and shit right now But like I feel like I'm just like cleaning but like, I'm still dirty, like, I'm just not gonna want to clean. But then it's like, I think it'd just be better to fucking clean and then shower because that's, I'm already done with everything, you know? I mean, honestly, I don't have to clean that much, but like, still. I don't know, like, my ass is like really itchy right now, like, I have a wedgie up my ass right now. I don't know if I just want to take it out and shower, or if I just want to deal with it and clean. I mostly just gotta do dishes, but I ain't trying to do all that. Hmm, fuck that shit. I hate washing dishes. Literally, I would literally clean up like whore shit then clean dishes i hate washing dishes it's my least favorite chore and i'll say that right now and i and my mom is always like oh well you're gonna have to deal with that when you get older you know that's just something you have to do but no bitch because when i get older i'm gonna either have a maid or my husband is gonna take responsibility of washing the dishes because i'm gonna tell him that i was traumatized by dishes so i can't wash them because i refuse to wash dishes as a this is probably why i'm always gonna be single my shower um so basically i have just gone i had just eaten breakfast and shit i'm not sure if i want to go like i'm debating whether i should go do my errands right now because i'm gonna hit rush hour and where i need to go is basically like downtown i don't know i think we're just going out but i decided i'm just gonna have a really like chill outfit my outfit's really chill i'm just wearing like like basketball shorts i guess and like a black t-shirt and my burks and then i think i'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on sunscreen uh, we're heading to up oh! My camera's gonna move. I'm going on the freeway right now. Our first destination, I think, is gonna be Fries. And then I was also going to go to um, Dollar Tree to pick up a few things. about to approach to the grocery store my extra ass literally went all the way downstairs not down bitch downstairs i meant 
downtown because there's this grocery store that I go to but like the fanciest one I've seen of it is downtown and I told myself fuck it I'm gonna go over here like bitch yes I'm wasting gas but I don't give a fuck can I turn here I don't know if I can turn here oh my god I just think I did some illegal shit I just hate downtown drive like downtown roads because they're so confusing sometimes you can probably see all the city buildings it's actually really pretty I really like it okay fucking pedestrians man fucking pedestrians I hate pedestrians I'll say it disrespectfully too shit it's like bro get out my way thank you very much so I'm at this grocery store and basically the problem is I can't take the cart with me it's like crossing the street because obviously downtown is it's funny here well, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do if like I get cuz I don't have a lot of groceries to get but I ain't trying to take my groceries that motherfucking long or else I'm gonna pass out on the way but whatever anyway guys you're gonna come with me let's go grocery store and right now I'm gonna be heading to get boba or something cuz I only eat breakfast and my stomach is fucking killing me and it was also really awkward because healthy were staring at me but y'all know I really don't give a fuck about public filming so I'm going to Yelp like a boba place there was one that I wanted to go to around here but apparently it's not like open anymore which is kind of a fucking bummer there's kung fu tea which I heard is really good I'm going to head out and I'm going to a Dollar Tree because I actually need batteries for something. I can't express how much I love driving downtown. Just because ideally, like, I like to go and see things that I, like, strive to have in my life. And for me, that's downtown. Like, I would love to live downtown or, like, live in, like, a very, like, city-oriented, like, area. Like, a metropolitan fucking area. People who do that shit is so fucking annoying. Who parks in the middle of the fucking street? Dumbasses. It's funny because every time I drive out a light, someone's staring at me. But I don't give a fuck. You gotta pay the bill somehow, am I right? I think I'm gonna start putting my coffee in here. Um, I got this hydro, hydro bitch, I can never say it right. Hyaluronic acid mask. I got this two part mask. It's cucumber exfoliating and then pink grapefruit. And then I got batteries for my spinner, for my facial spinner. And then for my sister, I got her this putty shit because 
I don't know what is up with kids and slime and shit, but and I'm also kind of tired. I don't know if I want to go home or if I still want to explore like the city. All right, y'all. So, um, change of plans. My brother called me and said that he was about to make dinner, so I think that I'm going to get something light because I look you did want to get like a meal or something. I still want to get boba. But I remember that there's a place next to it that's really popular here in Arizona. It's called Two Hands. I know there's a location in California, I think. And it's basically like Korean, like hot... Bitch, it's like Korean hot dog. Um, but the thing is, I feel like that's going to fill me up. And my brother's going to make me dinner slash lunch right now. So I don't know. I feel like I should just fuck it because I feel like I'll shit it out in five minutes. The thing is, that place is always stupid packed. So if it's stupid packed, I'm not going to wait. Like if I see easily more than like 10 people, I'm not fucking waiting. They don't have like a waiting area like the waiting area is like outside and i'm not really good with heat so i think i'm gonna die on the spot oh my god do you see this shit y'all see this shit it's stupid pad i just want my fucking corn dog i mean i ain't gonna lie them bitches smack no wonder why it's always full but fuck there's a boba place that i like so i'm gonna get boba it's called Chati, is it? That's what it's called? I've been here like twice and I absolutely love it. Um, I get their brown sugar oat boba. I feel like I should park somewhere and show y'all my drink. Um, it was really confusing because I haven't been here in a fat minute, like the boba place. And when I went, I asked for the drink that I usually get, but she was like... Making me feel like my drink didn't exist. So I kind of just got fed up and I was like, you know what, fuck this shit. Like, what, what drink can you give me that's similar to what I'm describing to you? And she recommended this some weird ass drink. It just looks like this. Dude, this shit looks like the wrong as hell. Cause she said it's mocha and something else. And if y'all know me, I only like coffee related drinks. Like, it could be a milkshake, but it has to have mocha or espresso in it. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Go check it out. If you live in Arizona, it's here the Chalky and Coffee Boba Place. Right here on Main Street in Dobson. This song right here is so fucking good. Especially this part. Here we go, y'all. I love this part! This is how you probably kick a man's ass, cause men ain't shit. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> I just want some dinner. Oh my god. Bye, Mom. This is more like her punching. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> What's that? <this? gasps> you nasty. Two hours later. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna be hopping in on this voiceover to tell you guys about my favorite new product that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about, and that is the Duval Radiant System Skincare Set and the Mix Easy Skincare Set. A lot of you guys have been asking on how I cleared up my skin, and this is lit. This is literally how I've been clearing up my skin. So what is really cool about this brush is it comes with all these detachable brushes, literally all different types for your face. Here I'm using the Mix Easy Facial Cleanser, which may I say was created by me because what I like about these products is that you can literally customize the ingredients to your liking. Obviously, everyone's skin is different, so that's what I think is really cool is that you can literally customize it to whatever ingredients you feel will help better your skin. If you want to get the brush, make sure to use my code Manila G for 70% off. But all in all, I can say is that this brush has really helped my skin get clear, and I really like how soft it is. It is it's not uncomfortable whatsoever and I just once again really like the whole overall effect of it um, as you can tell you will see how dirty it gets because my skin is pretty fucking dirty I'm not gonna lie after a long day Here I just changed the brush into the uh, exfoliation brush because I thought that my face needed a little exfoliation. And when I tell you this shit really made my skin soft, y'all, my skin was hella soft. Like I literally have never felt my skin so soft in the fattest minute. So I totally was like, you know what, this shit is just coming through for real.
Once again, use my code Mariela. 15% off for the Mix Easy products. Look at my little babies back there. Literally, it's so good. After I washed my face, my skin was baby butt soft. After that, I decided to apply some of the facial cream because I feel like that is such a necessity after you have exfoliated your face. This really did enhance my skin. It makes it glow. It makes it feel super soft. And I overall just see great results. Like, I don't even be wearing no makeup. And I noticed that my face is very glowy and very smooth. And I noticed that it actually helped. Dis it helps, like, even now my skin tone so I don't have any discomfort. Discoloration. Overall, 100% recommend, and I think you guys should get it.